Hi there! I'm here today with another Authors Republic tutorial for you. This tutorial is going to talk about how to adjust front spacing on your tracks. So first things first, we're going to open up our copy of Audacity, which, as a reminder, is free to use. And once we have that open, just go to where you've placed your files and drag your files onto the track. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. To do that, you can hold control on your keyboard and just mouse wheel in. And you'll notice it gets bigger and bigger as you go. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on your track and hit J on your keyboard. That'll jump you to the front of your track. Another fun tip, if you hit K, it will take you to the end of your track. So J and K, very handy shortcuts. So what's happening here, if you look at this track, it actually meets our specifications. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it to here. So you'll notice that our specs ask that you provide a track that starts between 0.5 and 1 second. And as we zoom in, you'll notice that this track is just a smidge over that 0.5 length. So let's adjust that. Now normally what you can do is cut out by selecting everything here and hitting delete on your keyboard. That removes everything in front of your audio. Next, you can go to generate and then you want silence. Now here's where it lets you set a duration in hours, minutes, seconds. So since we don't even want a full second, I usually type zero and eight. And you notice it adds the point in there for you, so you don't have to worry about adding that in. Hit OK. And you'll notice that it suddenly drops in 0 0.8 seconds of dead silence. So there's no tone, there's no nothing. So now that track is properly formatted for the intro. It can be anywhere within this gradient from here to here. We recommend 0 0.8 because it's the least likely to get rejected or sent back for any sort of issue. Next thing you want to do is make sure you select the entire track, hit File, and Export, and Export as MP3. Now, if you're doing multiple tracks that you're correcting the front spacing on, you want to select Export Multiple. But since we're just dealing with one track today, you can just select Export as MP3. So what we usually do when we're working with tracks that we're correcting is we make multiple folders. So we started off in problem tracks, but we're going to go over to fix tracks. Let's hop in here. So nothing in here right now. So we'll go down to our name. And since we don't want to name it the same name as the existing track, so we can tell it apart, we're going to differentiate it by hitting slash and then fixed. If you look down here, you have your format options. There's preset, variable, average, and constant for bitrate mode. We want you to always use constant. This makes sure that your bitrate doesn't dip or go above in any sort of fashion, as retailers will reject that as an error. So do you want to use constant with 192 kilobits per second and leave it in stereo mode? This track's currently only in mono, but setting it in stereo won't affect it. It, it will just leave it in mono. But if it was stereo, it would export it as stereo as well. So go ahead and hit save. And that'll export there. And if we go back to our folders here. And go under our fixed tracks. We have front spacing fixed. And that's all it takes. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in another Authors Republic tutorial.